That's a little further I can go, sorry. <laughs> Would you have your Bibles with you? I'd like you to open it. Uh, to 1 Peter chapter 2. Verse 9. Peter chapter 2 verse 9. Pirmas pelnalaškas Andreskilis that's the theme for our ministry, Lehman Ministries. Because this Bible verse is saying that we are a royal priesthood. We don't have priests. You are all priests. According to this verse. And when I listen to testimonies this morning, this, this thrills my heart. Because that is where the real action of the church works. When my children were little, we used to sing a, tell them a poem. In English it sounds very nice. I'll tell you in English, okay? Here's the church and there's the steeple. Look inside. No, no, English only. Here's the church, here's the steeple. Look inside and see all the people. It sounds very nice. You can translate that. No, he does the actions. Yeah, the steeple. Here's the church. Here's the steeple, like a church. Open the doors. Open the doors. See all the people. <coughs> so the question is, what is what is the church? Is it a building? Are you supposed to No, it's you. And so when we talk about, oh, we want to bring a friend to church. Are we just going to bring him to a building? No, no, more than that, much more than that. When you meet somebody, they are meeting the church. Because you are the church. More people come in contact with the church Sunday through Friday than they do Sabbath morning in their building. And this is what makes the church so special. I remember in 1980, the walls of communism came crashing down. And Lithuania and Latvia played a big part of this happening. They, yeah. And I remember I was asked to go to Romania in 1990, in the spring of 1990. I didn't have any money. But a friend was saying, Jeff, God's calling you to go. I don't have any money. So I saved up some money. I had something like 65 US dollars, which is about, you know, about <laughs> My friend and I bought airplane tickets. <laughs> and we were going to go. For three weeks, we had about 75 euros. And people in our church were saying, you're crazy. You're just going to go to go to go to Poland and go to Hungary and Romania with 75 euros? We were going to the airport. 
And I checked our mailbox right before I left. There was a special envelope inside there. They opened it up. And there was a letter. The letter said, Jeff, I was impressed you needed this money right away. And there was about 600 US dollars in there, about 750 euros. And God, God gave me a message to go. So we traveled all over. We went to Poland, we went to Romania. We started projects in these different countries. In, in Poland, we started a publishing house. And still today, that publishing house is the largest Adventist publishing house in Poland. And God opened the door for us to start a prison ministry in Romania. Yeah, it was amazing things happened. There was, during communism, a little old lady. She had a friend, a son, a friend of a son who was in prison. And she went to Bucharest, the capital. And she waited outside the Ministry of Justice building to see if she could talk to somebody about trying to go into the prison and do ministry. She wasn't a pastor. She was just an elderly lady. When she came to the building, there was a guard with a, a gun. He said, what do you want? I want to talk to the... Uh, uh, general, a director of the prisons. He said, you can't come in this building. So she waited there beside the building. A big black car came. Some government officials got out and walked into the building. And she just stood outside in the cold. <laughs> the next day she went back again. <laughs> the soldier was standing there with his gun. <laughs> You're back again? <laughs> she said, yes, I want to talk to the, the, the <laughs> He said, you can't talk to him. He's very important, <laughs> man. he's very busy. Next day she came back again. And the soldier was like, this lady's crazy. Three days standing outside. A black car pulls up. The general director's walking up the steps. He sees this lady three days standing there. And so he asks the guy with the gun, who is this lady? She's some crazy lady. She wants to talk to you. He said, lady, come here. Come on. General director took this lady into the Ministry of Justice building. And she started saying, I want to start a ministry to the prisoners. I want to go into the prisoners and help them to know about God. And the general talked very kindly to her. And he said, isn't there somebody from your church or something that could come and talk with me? She said, yes, I can find somebody. She went to the Seventh-day Adventist uh, mission office. And she asked the, the director of ministry, Lucian Krestesko is his name. <laughs> and 
He was very afraid. There was one place during communism everybody feared. In Lithuania it was the same way. The one place everybody feared was the prison. People would go to the prison and they would never come back. But my friend Lucio and Christesco were very nervous, went to talk to him. The general said, we would be happy to try to work with you. And so, when I was in Romania, I met Lucian Vesescu. And so, he and I went and met, met the general. And they gave us permission for Adventist lay people to go into the prisons and start <laughs> so, so we needed material, so we translated some Bible studies. And we, print, we printed three million Bible studies. So that people would have materials. People would have materials for studying Bible. This is the first time in the history of this country this ever happened. One, one year later, we had a, like an anniversary meeting at a church in Bucharest. And we invited the general to come there to be a special guest. This man is very powerful in the country. And we gave him a copy of the book, The Desire of Ages, in Romanian. We didn't think he would even read it. He kind of was orthodox. Next time I went to Romania, I met this general. And I was sitting in his office. And he said, Jeff, I read this book all the way through. I read it two times. He said, such a wonderful book. We should give this book to all the prisoners in Romania. And I said, you serious? He said, yes, we need to give all the prisoners this book. And he said, how many copies? I asked him, how many copies do you need? And he said, well, see, there's 44 prisons. And, 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 um, probably about uh, 50,000. He said, can you do that for me? What would you say? I went like this. <laughs> yes, take, take. And he said, wait a second, we need to give Bible, we need to give Desire Vages to all the administrative people. All the prison guards need this book. So we need about 70,000. Can you do that? Yes, Dave. And he said, I am friends with all the people in the government here. And the president of Romania, he's a friend of mine. Can you print some really nice covered books with hard bindings? For all and I went, tape. <laughs> I had a problem. I had zero money. I'm a poor guy. <laughs> and now they were asking for 100,000 copies of this book. I went back to America. And we started talking to different people. We started praying. 
And money started coming. Money came from Romania. From Holland. From Australia. And we ended up printing the first 30,000 books on the printing presses. You know, 30,000 books in the, in the printing presses. And we printed them on the same printing presses that used to print all the communist books. The government printed the books for us. The books that the printing presses that used to print Stalin and Marx and Marx Stalin Now we're printing Desire of Ages. And every time we got a print run finished. We had the exact amount of money needed to pay for those books. I remember we went to several of the different prisons in Romania. And we went into the prisons with prison guards carrying armfuls of Desire of Ages books. <laughs> These are guys, you know, with the uniforms on. They're going right into the cells. And handing these books. Well, one morning we were going to go to this one place that was a, a maximum security prison. And my friend was driving really fast. And we got to the prison. It was Sabbath morning. And they opened the big gates to the prison. And we pulled in. And one of the officers said, You're in the wrong prison. <laughs> he said, They changed the plan. You're supposed to be in another prison over in another city. So they gave us two police cars. One police car in front, one police yeah, car in front. Yeah, the the lights going. <laughs> and we went flying through the city. And we were going to this other prison. I had a friend traveling with me. And my friend said, wow, he said, uh, I've never gone to church like this before. And I said, yeah, you know, um, he, oh, my friend said, they're treating us like we're diplomats. And I said, we are diplomats. Each one of us are diplomats for Christ. Each one of us is a part of the priesthood for Christ. We got to the prison. CNN was there. CNN, a news, news agency, big news agency. It's like BBC in America. Romanian national television was there. And we had this general picking up the book, Great Controversy. I mean, Desire of Ages. And saying, we used to put people in prison for books like this. Now we are putting these books in prison. And then we end up printing Greek Controversy. Christ Object Lessons. Steps to Christ. Ministry of Healing. And we flooded the, 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 the prisons with the The head patriarch for the government of Romania came, came on national television and said, You know, he's like he's like a pope. He's a big white, you know, priest clothes on. So he about his rabujis. And he said, who gave these, this religious sect, he called them, who gave this religious sect permission to put these books in prison? So, he 
you think about it. He said these books are dangerous. Savotos knygos pavojengos. And they're giving them to the prisoners. Ir dar duot kariniams. This sounds very serious. Jis labai ramtai karpėja. It was the best advertising he could have ever done. Ir tai buvo geriausia reklama, kokia jis galėjo padaryti. Because everybody now wanted to read these books. Dabar jau visi norėtų knygų. It was amazing things that God can do for us. Meeting somebody on a bus and selling a book. Having a talk with a friend. Helping somebody in a hospital. These are all the works of ministry that the, the church does. Ir visą tai yra ta tarnystė, kurią pakviesas mūsų organizacija tik įgėjęs iš mūsų. It's just not the pastors like Virginia. Ne Virginijas turi daryti tą darbą. It's all of us. Visi kartu mes turime daryti kiekvienas. I was praying one day. Vieną dieną aš mėndžiausiai. I was reading a Christian book that said we should expand our thinking about evangelism. Ir aš skaičiau knygą ten savo, kad mes turime išplėsti horizontus organizacijos blokos. It was in the summer of 1993. Tai buvo dešimtrečių metų vasaros dienos. And that night I went to bed. Tą naktį aš nuėjau mėgoti. I was sleeping. Aš mėgojau. And I heard a voice. Aš girdėjau balsą. It's a really strange experience. Labai keis dar patirtis. And this voice said, go to Lithuania. Tas balsas sakė, važiuok į Lietuvą. I woke up. Aš atsikėjau. Lithuania? Lietuva? Aš negirdėjau tokio pavadėjimo, tokio valdo. Jūs galvoji šiandien Lietuvą? Kur tai vieta? Aš tada atsikvedžiu žemėlį, nes Google Maps nebuvo. Aš kalbėjau Kinija, kalbėjau Lietuvoje. Aš kalbėjau Kinija, kalbėjau Lietuvoje. Kur tai vieta yra? Very small place. Labai mažai šitai kur Lietuvą. And I found this little country called Lithuania. Ir radau Lietuvą. I go, wow, there is a country called Lithuania. Ir aš tikrųjų Lietuvą yra toga šalis. And I was just thinking about that. Pradėjau maistėti. Sitting in my office. Sėdžiu savo raštinėje. Couple hours went by. Poro valdų praėjo. My telephone rings. Ir telefonas skambo. Are you Jeff? Ar tu esi Jeffas? Oh yes, this is me. Taip, tai Džepas. Hi, my name... Klaitas. 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 Sako, aš tai numa vardas Klaitas. I am from the country of Lithuania. Aš sako, aš iš Lietuvos. Have you ever thought about coming to our country? A tu gal pagalvoji nuveikti į Lietuvą? And I said, I've been thinking about it a lot lately. Aš paskui metu pradėjau rimtai galvoti kai Lietuvą. And he invited me to come. Jis buvo studentas iš Lietuvos. Weimar College. Weimar universitetė studijavo. And so that fall... Gyvas pramboj neležėsi, ne? Gyvas pramboj neležėsi, ne? Yeah, and so that next October, about this time of year... Ir panašių laikų tada tais metais... I came on a train to Kaunas. Traukinį atvykų į Kauną. And I met a man by the name of Rimas Sabinskas. Then my name was Tiko Rimas Sherbinskas. And then next year I had this idea. And today is my second year of minting. Because we started. What's the name of the publishing house? How do you pronounce it? I'm Shinoa Ola. We started that publishing house. Nas pradėm vaiškai ta visa mišlo so Ola's projekta. We started printing books here with together. Pradėm spausdinti knygas kartu su logom misa to. But there was no logom. But there was no mission then. Tada negi nebuvo misa logom. This was 1993. Nešimt metų. There was 12. About 12 seconds after. That next year, 1994, the mission was reorganized here. And I had this idea about young people from America coming to Lithuania to help And so, Jonathan Peoples and Joshua Miller. Jonathan's, Joshua do you know any Musa? They came as young people here. Yeah, we all have young people here. And then Shannon Barker and Shannon Barker. 
Jeremy Calkins, yes. Jeremy Calkins. Many young people started coming here. And they had so many wonderful experiences with you. How old were you when you first came? 19. 19. And you? 19-year-old young people coming to Lithuania. They said, they said to the Lithuanian young people, let's go door to door. And they said the Lithuanian young people said, no, we can't do that here. They said, yeah, we can do it. <laughs> no, you can't do this here. And so they started knocking on the doors with you. And they started selling books. And so the young Lithuanian people said, Oh, the only reason that they're opening their doors is because they're Americans. I don't remember who it was, but one of the young people, Americans, said, Okay, tomorrow only Lithuanians go by themselves. And they started knocking on doors, giving out books. And they came back and said, We can do it! And some of those young people grew up to become church leaders here. Davidus, Davidus, he used to work with our ministry years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Different young people. Hmm? Sorry? Amos used to go with Shannon and I. You? You? You, you were in Like 1995 or 1996, a picture of you. And here we are 23 years, 24 years later. What is 17, 18 churches now in Lithuania? Yeah, and then there's about 17. 17? And about 775 church members, I think, right around here. Yeah. It's amazing what God has done. Ir iš tikrųjų nuostabų dalyti, matyti, ką Dievas gali padaryti. I like what it says in 1 Corinthians 7.17. Pirmas klaškas skrindėčiams. It says, God has called everyone. You don't have to read it. 1 Corinthians 7.17. God has called everyone. Pirmas skrindėčiams 7.17. And God is calling all of us. John 15, 16, it says, I've not chosen you. you John, have not, I'm sorry, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen John you. Did you know God chose you before you chose him? Before you even thought about God, he was drawing you and choosing you. And you accept him in your life. And you are danger. He appoints you for a special work. Do you know what that work is? Mark 16, 15, you know this verse, right? Go into all the world. See? And preach the gospel. People have a wrong idea about ministry. They think it's a, a pastor giving Bible study. They think it's somebody standing here Sabbath morning preaching. But it's much more than that. Spiritually, we're all pastors. God's called you, ordained you, and commissioned you. We, we have a wrong idea of ministry. I had a phone call one morning. This, this, no. Okay. And this lady goes, Are you Jeff? 
Când am odit să tu Jeffas? I said when I looked in the mirror this morning it was me. Să cred că și eu la de să cu Jeffas. He said, "Oh, my husband and I are so excited." E să cum am am a husband and her were excited. Tam odit să cum am să mă slăbăi cu I said, "What are you excited about?" Asta că da, cosa. We want to start some kind of ministry. Nasta am predicat tare listă. And I said, what are you thinking about? The guys go what? And then all of a sudden I heard children screaming in the background. Era jgjuvaketa reka vesu, balso,